Before we do anything with Node-RED, we actually have to install it on our local system. You can install it as part of your Linux system, or preferably in my mind, you install the Docker container and run it separately. If the container becomes corrupt or you damage it in, some, in your, you know, experimenting, uh, we can blow it away and start all over. So it's very flexible, very easy to deploy, and uh, very convenient in my mind. To install the container, or to start the container, we'll actually use a docker command of docker run. We'll actually inter interact with the container as it starts. We'll use the p flag to map it to port 80. We'll give it a custom name so it's easy to recognize. We'll call it node red 05. And we'll then pull it down from the Docker repository online, node red, node red, docker. We'll issue that command. It'll take a few seconds to download and actually spin the container up. And then we're running. We're actually seeing the output of the, uh, the container itself as it started. So it's now up and running. You can see it's listening on port 1880. The container is and then we mapped it to port 80 on the host so if we navigate to the docker host ip address port 80 we can refresh and now we see node red is in fact up and running on the left hand side you'll see a number of nodes these are the components that we will drag and drop into the work area to build our flows we'll scroll through here uh, see that there's quite a few installed by default However, there's a few that we don't have that we do want to use that are not yet part of the system. We can install those manually. To install those additional nodes, let's come in and stop our container. We'll then restart it using docker start and the name of the container, node red 05. We'll start that back up. It's not an interactive mode to actually attach to that container and interact with it and actually run some additional commands. We'll use docker exec. Node red 05. And we want to start the shell so that we can interact with the system. Once we do this, we are connected. You can see that there's a couple odds and ends in the home directory. We'll clear that and we'll actually change directory to the data directory. This is where we want to do our actual installations. We want to use the network package manager command and install the node red dashboard. Dashboard actually does not have a hyphen. We'll take a few moments, go out and gather the uh, dependencies and the required repositories and install them. We actually also want to do a install of the uh, MySQL library as well. We'll use this later on. Same type of thing, take a few seconds to gather the requirements and away we go. Now if we exit and stop and start this node, we can do a docker stop node red 05 and we start it back up. When we reload the web page, we can scroll through. You see everything looks pretty much the same with the exception of a few additional components. Here's the MySQL storage node, as well as the dashboard node uh, or number of nodes that allow us to have some graphic user interface components as part of our application.